Meanwhile, in Canada, there is a new queen. For her followers, Romana de Tullo is everything. They do what she says. They preach what she asks them to do. The rise of the fringe QAnon leader has now sparked concerns, especially as trust erodes in the country's civil institutions. Didulo immigrated to Canada from the Philippines. This was when she was 15 years old. She then ended up losing both her parents and later she set up a consulting firm and a separate healthcare consultancy. But both had limited success. More than 10 years later, she formed her own party. It is called Canada First. What does it promise? To end the so-called enslavement of Canadians and also to withdraw Canada from international alliances. On her Telegram channel, she shares the most ridiculous views. One, she said Queen Elizabeth II was executed. The other time, she said aliens visited Earth 300,000 years ago. And one day, she even claimed that high-ranking US politicians are part of a child trafficking network. Her followers have also had their brush with the federal police, especially in several events where they broke the law. Didulo may have claimed sovereignty over Canada, but for national security officials, she is a threat. This is because for her followers, she is almost like a god. She has created a movement herself, one that has not gone down too well with Canada's federal government or police. But her rise to power has raised concerns on how online conspiracy theorists could have ripple effects in the real world. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.